For this meditative Taoist exercise, the feet are shoulder width apart, the weight sinks evenly in the feet, the upper body is erect, straight, relaxed, calm the mind, breathe deep. The arms float up, bend at the knees, press down, bounce, arms float up. Breathe out as you press down. Breathe in as the arms float up. You have a soft focus. You're aware of your surroundings. You're not focused on any one thing. You're concentrating on the breathing, dropping the weight into the feet, bouncing back up. The hands flex as if pressing against water. And you're uh, developing an open awareness. Everything centered. If there's any tension, you try to release that tension so it doesn't block any energy. Here, you press out with the arms, fingers pointing up. It's as if you're pressing against a wall. And you breathe deep, seven to 11 times. To breathe deep, you fill the lungs all the way up. Hold it for a second or two. Breathe out. The shoulder blades are tucked in, the chest out. Everything's gently extended. You don't lock the joints. Uh, this is good for arthritis. Uh, there's a lot of studies at the Mayo Clinic site if you want to look up the studies. Here you press out to the sides. And as you're doing these exercises, you always tuck in the shoulder blades. The chest is out. And breathe deep. Calm the mind, relax the body. this exercise you press back as if, as if pressing against a wall shoulder blades in chest out breathe deep slow and even the weight drops evenly in the feet and you maintain your balance uh, you focus on your tantian or center in the lower abdomen and that corresponds to your center of gravity. So if uh, your upper body is held uh, straight and relaxed, uh, that's your center of gravity. If you start leaning forward or back, your center of gravity goes off the center and you lose your balance. Here you round your arms and you maintain an inch or so of space between the fingers and you try to maintain that distance and it's as if they're connected. These exercises are good for the posture. They're good for enriching the blood with oxygen. And they're good for calming the mind and relaxing the body. They're good for flexibility and balance. And they're, they're good for many ailments. So breathe deep and develop good mental health and physical health. Here you fold the fingers together. This is one of the eight brocade or eight treasures. 
So if you breathe out as you drop down here and you press up, rise up on the toes. You always do whatever is comfortable for you. Don't push anything. If you find difficulty uh, maintaining your balance, uh, don't go up so high on your toes or not at all. This is Ben Bow. You make a hollow fist, it's relaxed, your thumbs are up, you shift the weight, you extend the opposite side hand out as if you're drawing a bow. You look straight ahead and you use your peripheral vision to focus on the extended thumb. And this is good for uh, developing your awareness uh, of what's going on around you. And as always, you uh, coordinate the breathing in all Taoist and Tai Chi exercises. So as you're, generally as you're opening up, you breathe in, you contract, you breathe out. And you shift the weight from foot to foot, but you maintain your center and your balance. So your upper body is straight. You shift the weight in evenly into each foot and for this exercise you turn at the waist and you turn your head and you look back and you breathe out then you breathe in and you breathe out. So in these exercises uh, you shift the weight and when you shift the weight uh, you use the energy from the weight being shifted and you direct it using the waist. You can direct it out the arms. Here you shift the weight and you press down on that side. The other hand presses up. Breathe in here, you breathe out, and you breathe in. do these exercises 7 to 11 times. Here it's as if you're on a horse and you're holding the reins and you tighten the muscles starting with the sphincter muscles up the back out the arms and then you relax. So you tighten the muscles, relax, breathe out, tighten up the back, out the arms, breathe in. And it's advisable to only do this two or three times, up to five times, uh, as you develop Here you rock back and forth on the heels and toes. Here 
here you have a little wider stance and always the uh, knees are a little flexed you drop down gently stretch whatever's comfortable and then you rotate the upper body you relax the neck and let the head drop as you turn and you breathe out here and as you go up you breathe in And you do this 7 to 11 times to one side, and then you re reverse. All the exercises are done, done slowly, so you can concentrate and develop awareness. And you pay attention to the movement, the shifting of the weight and staying centered and balanced. So here you reverse directions. So you're developing mindfulness. Awareness of your body and how it's connected. Connected within and with your surroundings. Connecting your breathing within and with the space around you. This exercise again you relax down gently stretch you straighten up you put your hands together you press up out and around to the hips back down you breathe out as you go down and breathe in The next exercises are derived from the Tai Chi form. Each, each uh, posture you make from the Tai Chi form can be done individually as an exercise. So here we do white crane spreads wing, one foot out, opposite side hand up, drop the hand back down, shift the weight. The opposite side foot goes out on the toes. You shift the weight, foot goes out, hand goes up the middle to eye level, you turn the palm up, bring the hand back down. Shift the weight, foot out, hand up, palm up, you look up with your eyes there, then back down. So a lot of these postures are, are der derived from nature. That is observing nature.
with this exercise you cock your hands by your hips you push out in an arc palms up you drop back to the hips so you there's a little bounce you drop the weight into the feet and bounce it back up and you use that energy and extend it out through the arms and here you want to keep the body upper body straight up and down so you press from the center so you drop the center bounces up out through the arms drop back down into the feet and here you grab a ball and the top hand pushes out the other hand goes down and back you turn the palms up at shoulder level the back hand comes forward by the ear you have a ball again you push out the other hand goes down and back so you shift the weight the opposite side hand pushes out shift the weight and you also shift the weight and turn at the waist as the arm goes back the other arm goes out So this is called repulse monkey. The idea is you have a monkey mind going from thought to thought, like monkeys go from branch to branch, but you're uh, calming the mind in this case. And you can use meditations, uh, concentrate on the energy going up the back, over the top of the head and down the front. And here you grab a ball again, and this is wave hands like cloud. You shift the weight, turn at the waist. You shift the weight to the top hand side. Here you reverse the hands. And here you would concentrate on the energy circulating in the abdomen. But you also still have an open awareness. You're still centered, shifting the weight, concentrating on the weight dropping in the feet. And there's always a spiraling motion from one foot up the back and across out through the arm. Or in some cases, both feet up the back and out the arms. Uh, you don't have to do the different meditations. Uh, at first, it's advisable just to pay attention to your center and your balance and shifting the weight and the breathing. This is brushed knee. Hand comes up to the ear. You shift the weight, brush over the knee. There's a spiraling motion. Energy comes up the leg, across the back, out through the arm. Here you extend out and around. Try to keep maintain the same distance from the floor. So if you're just starting, you just do whatever's comfortable. And you don't have to get every little part of the movements uh, correctly. Uh, this is high pad horse. You reach up to the corner and you draw back. You create a space. You draw back into that space.
So it's as if you're patting a horse, you reach out, draw back. Here you turn the palms up, extend up and back. And this is slant flying. It's a little different from the Tai Chi form. Here you take your ball, make a big circle. You, you lean back a little here, all the way around. Then you reach out to the corner, make hollow fist, and hit tiger. So you go up and around the other direction, hit tiger on the other side. Uh, the fists are hollow, uh, as if you're holding a small egg. And they're relaxed. They're circulating the energy around the fingers and back up through the arm. So I've been doing these exercises and Tai Chi since the early 80s. I, I mainly studied with Master Da Lu <clears throat> in New York City. Uh, but I've had other teachers in, in various disciplines. Um, and I do draw from those disciplines. Um, and I'm trying to explain this for beginners. It's kind of hard to do if you're not there to ask questions. Uh, for this exercise, you extend your foot and hand out. Your hand makes what's called an eagle claw. You touch your fingers to your thumb. And you do what's comfortable. This is golden cock stands on one leg. So you extend your eagle claw and foot out and you come down, draw back up, stand on one leg. So yeah, you, you do what's comfortable. Um, you can just extend your foot out a, a foot or two. Uh, you don't, don't have to go way down, uh, whatever's comfortable. So that snake creeps down, golden cock stands on one leg. And as, as always, if you're a beginner, you just do what's comfortable. So maybe you can just extend your foot out a foot or two, that's good. Or maybe you have to hold on to the chair to uh, do golden cock stands on one leg. This is patting the meridians, you pat down the outside of the legs, top of the feet, up the inside of the legs. You tap around the waist. You use your knuckles, tap up the back, rub the kidneys. You hold your arm out, you tap down. Palm up, you tap up. Here you tap the glands under the jaw, base of the neck, down the front. You rub down the outside of the knees, up the inside. So here we're just trying to stimulate the energy in the body. And you do it in a meditative way. Here you rub the back of the knees. The calves. Here you hold your palm out. You grab your little finger, push out and down, gently stretch the finger. You stretch each finger in turn and pay attention to each tendon. If 
well i've had various teachers in various disciplines and so sometimes i mix up a few things here with different teachers this exercise is for strengthening and stretching the wrist you hold your hand out you turn the thumb around to the front the other hand comes up thumb up the thumb goes between the fingers your fingers wrap around the base of the thumb you drop down and compress and release compress you come up release and three times is good here and you, you shake the wrist loosen it up do the other side thumb to the front thumb up you grab around the base of the hand and you drop and compress shake it out for this one you start with the thumb up turn it down the other hand thumb up you grab the base of the hand the fingers wrap around the little finger side the thumb wraps around the base of the thumb and you rotate and then shake it out thumb down thumb up grab the base of the hand rotate the little finger to the nose down out and around out and here you rub the palms back of the hands back of the fingers here it's uh, like washing your hands grab the wrist rotate the hand gently massage three fingers widths up from the wrist crease there's an acupressure point you put your thumb there wrap your fingers around put the middle finger in the middle of the back of the arm and you breathe in and compress and breathe out and release and this is an acupressure point that's good for balancing the energy in the body If you have more time, you can do this up to two minutes. Or you can do it three to seven times. Either side of the inside of the elbow, there are acupressure points, and there's also tendons there that attach, and they get brittle over time. It's good to uh, massage them. So here you use your middle finger and your thumb, and you massage in there. In the back and the crevices, you use your fingers and massage. Uh, there's an acupressure point two fingers width down from the top of the shoulder in the middle uh, there's some muscles that wrap around there but uh, you massage in there
here uh, you press in the middle of the top of the shoulder and massage that there's acupressure point there and uh, this is good for the shoulder and relaxing here you hook your thumb under the muscle wrap your fingers around and under and massage do that on the other side There's an acupressure point called the Jade Pillow. It's where the skull rests on top of the spinal column. And that gets compressed over a while. It's good to open that up and massage in there. Uh, the other hand, back of the other hand, can rest uh, against the bottom of the spinal column. And you open up the back as you do this, gently. The meeting point uh, where your soft spot grew together on the top of the head above the ears uh, you massage in there and you, you keep that lined up with your center and your lower abdomen when you're doing Tai Chi or these exercises uh, here you massage your third eye between the eyebrows that's a major meditation point your heart center that's good for calming Another major meditation point. It's uh, four fingers whisk up from the bottom of the sternum. There's a there's an indentation there. This is a breathing exercise. It's good to do before you do your Tai Chi form. You fold your hands over the lower abdomen, fill the lungs all the way up, and you breathe out slow and even through the, the mouth and you press with the hands to help expel the air. I hope these exercises help to calm the mind and relax the body and lead to a long, happy, healthy life.